Hope you're having a shit one. Currently, I am in uh, Paris. Bit of a change of scenery from Amsterdam and Rotterdam and other various places I've been in Netherlands. But I only came down here for a week. I wanted to sort of explore the city. It's a city I've never been to before. And this is currently my second day here. And I'm already loving it. Like, it's fucking insane compared to every other city I've been to. There's just shit going on everywhere. But anyway, today we're gonna go check out some rooftops. Um, currently there's a place that we're walking to right now called Galerie Lafayette. I think right? Galerie Lafayette. Lafayette. Well, Lafayette. I was close enough, right? And we're going to try and get on the roof of that. Oh yeah, you can definitely get on the roof. I can see people up there now. We're going to get up there and try and take some photos. Should be a good time. Later on in the evening, so we'll stay there until it's night time. Then we'll figure out what else we're going to do. Insane. That's going to be the most aesthetically pleasing shopping center I've ever seen in my life. Not really a picture I'd take, but just nice to look at. Thought you might appreciate the architecture as well. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably chuck the 7200 on. I don't know, I haven't decided what I wanna do. I haven't decided what photo I wanna take. And I don't know how much of a sunset we're gonna get because over that way, there's a lot of cloud cover on the horizon. I don't actually think the sun's gonna be able to come through, which uh, is kind of annoying. We'll see, we'll see what kind of photo we can get. We just have to wait here. And maybe I'll try another photo again that I shot with Faye in Rotterdam. I uh, put on my Instagram, it looks like this. I might try another one of those. And the whole idea of that is just because it kind of looks like it's from a movie. And I think that's really cool where you do like the two splits and you post it on Instagram. So I might try that as well. But anyway, we'll see what we can do and what kind of photos we can get. All right, well, I guess I'll start off with the 65 because it's already on my camera. All right, let's just try this shot over here. I reckon already I should just put on the 7200 straight up. Yeah, let's just, let's just put on the 7200. All right, we've got big guns out now. Maybe we can shoot through. Wow, there's so much depth in the foreground, like so much going on. That's what I really love. Yeah, Faye, we got a shot? Yeah, really nice. Do that one again. Just hold that. Yeah, sick. You wanna have a look at these? Yeah. yeah, what a vibe. That's sick. <laughs> like roundabout with the Eiffel Tower in the back. I got the 24 to 70 in my bag. Oh, that's a shot. That's like, that's actually the shot. Better than whatever we just shot. Actually, wait, the ones with you were actually very good. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, slight problem. Uh, I didn't check what time this place shot. And it actually shots at eight o'clock, which is in 25 minutes. Pretty much exactly when the sun goes down. So we can't take any night photos here, which really sucks. That's exactly what I wanted to do because it would have been the fucking sickest night photo. Right here, there's a roundabout and it's pretty much perfectly in line with the tower. And you know, I wanted to get a nice long exposure of people going around with the tower in the background, but I might still be able to get something. So because something's better than nothing at least, and then we can see what we can do with an edit. So I'll try and stay until the maximum amount of time until I'm literally getting dragged out by security. But you can kind of see behind me, there's a guy in a grey suit and he's just sort of ushering people away from this area. Maybe if I set up the tripod, he won't bother me. Oh, wait, do we have to go? We, we close this area because we close the store in a few minutes. You have to go now because okay. we close all this area. Oh, this whole area. Oh, oh nice. okay, gotcha. Fuck. Maybe we can go downstairs because there's like a cafe downstairs and maybe we can figure something else out. Maybe there's still another photo we can take. I just wanted to take a quick photo here 
because I really love these corner buildings because I really just don't get to see a lot of those back in Melbourne. Melbourne's built on a grid a lot like New York, a very tiny mini New York. You never get these corner buildings in my city because everything's not just slapped together and let's build a road there and let's put a building here. But this city is much like that, which is so cool. So I'll probably chuck the 24 to 70 on, stand back a little bit, camera on a tripod, a few second long exposure and see what we can get. Now we're gonna catch a train, we're gonna head over to the Eiffel Tower, take some photos around that region, and then keep hunting rooftops, because that's really the whole point of today, even though we haven't really been that successful at that yet. But we'll hopefully find another one soon. <laughs> seconds not a few seconds few minutes to set this up oh this is going to be the quickest i've ever had to set up my camera fuck me maybe here i don't know i don't have time to think about it i'll photoshop out that tree later okay yeah i'm actually pretty happy with that composition now i'm going to try and get some traffic to come past in the foreground maybe with a bit of a crop i don't know if it's going to flicker again i think it's done but wow uh, it feels good to just take one the, the good photo of of tonight was probably the one i just shot so we'll go back home later and have a look at it but there's still one or two more photos or locations i think i might want to go scout one of them potentially being a hotel rooftop one of these roofs would be so sick to get on because the eiffel tower is sort of just over there and i think it'd be a pretty awesome view and what is the time 11.36. Maybe if we can get up in time, the tower might do its last light show for the night. So, might be good. Oh, I just need to be a little bit higher. I don't know, still an alright shot, but can't really get up any higher than this at any better angle. Or we go to, to this part of the hotel. Yep. Let's do that and shoot through the window. Yeah. Done. Let's go. Okay, this is a sick shot. But, <laughs> obviously, we're not on a rooftop. We're actually just in the hotel <laughs> and it's like almost midnight so I don't know how this is gonna work if someone's just gonna come out last minute and kick us out and obviously the other thing I'm trying not to talk too loud because there's rooms all around us the other thing is there's a big fat fucking window here and it's got a massive reflection so I might have an idea So, I took my hoodie off because sometimes what you can do is if you have reflections when you're trying to shoot through glass, if you put your jacket over it or something, tea towel, any form of fabric or whatever that can just block the rest of the light from entering back into the lens. So for me, I'm just gonna be my hoodie. Well, I think I, before I was saying how happy I was with some of the photos we took, but I think this one's pretty spectacular as well. It's just very Paris, 
with the light on in the foreground, a couple of buildings, and then this massive tower all lit up. I think it's gonna be a fucking sick edit. But yeah, okay, I took so many bangers today, so I'm so excited to edit these. So let's go home, we'll jump into Lightroom, I'll give some of these photos an edit, and we'll see what we got. <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty fucking happy. Okay, we don't have to keep whispering anymore because we're not in a hotel, so I can speak normally now. Sometimes when you go out on a photo shoot and your first couple of photos are below average or below your expectations, uh, can kind of throw you off for the rest of the night, which is kind of what happened to me and is exactly Why you shouldn't set expectations for your photo shoots Then you expect them to turn out a certain way and when they don't you feel like shit And when you don't set any expectations and they turn out better than what you never expected Then any photo you take just feels like a bonus It's sort of hard to have that mentality when I drove all the way down to Paris just to take photos And I've only got a limited time there. So I want to make the most of it and then we took this shot, which I was really hoping to do at night time because with an edit, it would have been a lot better, but you can actually see here, I actually moved the Eiffel Tower more to the center of the image. At night time, this would have been so sick because you would have got traffic from here and here, which I think would have been such a more lively image, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I didn't check the time for when the actual shopping center closed, which is annoying. <laughs> exactly when the sun was setting. Um, well, whatever, what can you do? Not my kind of photo, because it's not at night time, but still a good photo. So what did we learn? If you're gonna go on rooftops, check when they close. Right below where that shopping center is, where we were on the roof, just next to it is this intersection with all these buildings in every direction possible. And I started off taking this picture, and in my mind, or in, in the camera at least, it looked all right with the trees and the foreground and stuff. And as soon as I brought it into Lightroom, I was like, nah, you know what, fuck this, I hate it. So luckily, I went and shot from a different angle, and I like this a lot better. Still not that happy with it. Like, when I was on the shoot, I was like, it's an okay photo. I think I still need to clean it up a little bit in Photoshop. Like, I'm gonna get rid of that, uh, and maybe some other things on the ground that are distracting to the eye. Then we kept moving, we got on the train, we went down to the Eiffel Tower, and it was it was really cool when we were down there. There was actually a lot of construction happening, and I'm having the best luck with construction right now. It's just every city I'm going to, all the main attractions just seem to be under construction. So I couldn't get directly in line with the Eiffel Tower because there's these big old wood walls put up, and I don't even know what they were doing there. The Eiffel Tower was lit up blue, so... <laughs> Perfect for my Instagram feed and there was these two girls standing in front like taking pictures and just looking at it I was standing behind them and I saw this photo and it reminded me of this shot I took in New York a few years ago where it was like the Empire State Building and these people in front of it So I wanted to sort of recreate that but French edition Paris edition <laughs> and I'm happy I got that so that sort of worked out and actually naturally when I brought up the exposure in this image It actually just created this beam of light, which was really cool So I'm pretty happy with that photo as well Then we went down to the ground level and I was able to get another long exposure Which I was really happy with and there you go. That's the actual straight out of camera shot 20 second shot f9 ISO 100 and I shot that with the 24 to 70 so it was nice and wide so much for exploring rooftops because we only technically got on like one <laughs> I'm still editing this one as well. I think what I want to do is get rid of these lights here as well and just have the one light on and maybe even uh, darken that one too. Having the one light in the foreground aligned with the tower sort of tells the best story and looks the most Paris in my opinion. I'm still yet to edit all these photos as you can see. They're not final edits so don't make fun of me in the comments. <laughs> But if you want to see all these final edits, I post them all up on my Instagram. And other photos that I've shot around Paris, I'll be posting them up on my Instagram as well. In fact, I've already been posting heaps of Paris content on my account. So if you want to go check those out, you can follow me on my Instagram at North Borders. I do that, but really it's just a little pop thing that comes up. So I don't know why I do that. Like it's like I can make it appear where my finger goes. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And also all these photos were edited with my Lightroom presets. They come with 25 presets in a pack, plus 25 walkthrough tutorials and 25 of my raw images that you can practice your editing on. So if you want to get those, you can head over to streamline.store or click the link in my description. Sweet. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if I did teach you something new today, maybe you can leave a link down. Maybe you can leave a link. Oh my God. I always suck at doing this part. <laughs> leave a like or leave a link. Leave a link in the comments. Link something funny to me in the comments section, then I can have a laugh at something. Like and unsubscribe. <laughs> um, 
and all that other shit. But anyway, have a shit one. Whatever. I don't know how to end my videos anymore. Just have a shit one. Just have a shit one. <laughs>